Hey guys, and welcome to my 10th recorded Best of 11 Blitz Scrabble Battle against top player Joey Malik. It's hard to believe that this is already the 10th Blitz Battle Joey and I have played that's going to go up on my channel, so before jumping in, I'd like to give a major shout out and thank you to Joey for taking all of this time to play these matches with me and go over them and give me some great content for my channel and my viewers, so really, really appreciate it. Let's all give a big thank you to Joey in the comment section for helping me produce such great content. And with all that in mind, let's hope this series is just as entertaining as the last ones and dive right in. Alrighty guys, here we go. It looks like I'm first. I almost have Zoftig, but not quite. I think I'll just play Fez, keep things tight. And I draw Goatier, so hopefully that'll still play. It plays right now next to the FE on either side. But we'll see if it still plays after what Joey does. It very well might, it very well might not. But obviously would love to get a bingo down. Uh, I guess I gotta play it here now. I don't love opening all that, but it's still the only bingo, so gotta take it. I don't draw very well, and he scores well with Juror for 60. I, I knew that might happen, obviously, with Godier, but I wasn't gonna not bingo. And alright, first really tricky turn of the game here. I just don't have a whole lot. Like, I, I mean, Faye even keeps four vowels. Fakey. Yeah, I don't really know here. Phase is pretty terrible. Okay. I could also trade. That doesn't seem necessary, though. Huh. Wow. Yeah, there's just not a whole lot to do here. Maybe Odie? I'm not even sure that's worth it. You know, I'm going to trade here. I just can't find anything good. I don't know. There maybe was something worth playing, but I just literally couldn't find anything reasonable that didn't keep, like, three vowels in a consonant. It just didn't seem worth it to play, like, za and A-Y-E or something. I mean, maybe I should have, but I don't know. Or, or ye and ka. Maybe it was just barely worth it, but I'm not sure. Anyway, he plays Oxy, and do I have something here? Uh, I don't think so. In terms of bingos, so I'll try to play. Hey, how about mob here? Actually, that looks pretty good. Thirty points, and dang, more vowels. Unfortunately, not exactly what I was hoping for. I guess I could have played samba through that a. Actually, maybe I should have. That would have been more points, but obviously would have blown up my rack. So hard to say. I think I'll just play eight over here, and yes, yeah, still a few too many vowels. He bingos with twangers, unfortunately, so now trailing a little bit. No T for seatmate. I think I'm going to play mage and set up my S and be aggressive, given how strong my leave is. And now I draw the Q, so definitely not good. Everything else is super strong, though, so I'll probably just drop the Q with QI above Godier for 11 and then hopefully hit a bingo on my next turn. I guess I'll play mages and cots if it stays open, though, because that's a lot of points. But he plays bops. Yeah, I think just QI is forced here. I mean, I don't have a lot of spots to bingo, but you know, I guess I should play Cot. It's a lot more points. Yeah, those extra 18 points are probably important. Now I draw Turtles. And yeah, this is the problem. I just don't think Turtles is going to play. Oh, well, now it does. So fortunate break for me here. He probably has a good rack, though, after Azo. Although I do two now. So I have Epinasty through either T. We'll see what... He's able to get down here. I'm actually doing okay on time. I still have over a minute, despite taking a really long time on a couple of turns earlier. Yeah, I don't think I have anything better than Epinasty through the T. I also have Epigyna, which is a new word, I believe. Okay, he plays right hard. Yeah, still looking at Epinasty. Anything through the R... Ooh, Papyrine. It's not a word that comes up very often, but that's a few more points. Let's play that for 84. And almost Sentinel, but not quite. I'll probably try to block next to Papyrine, because now all of a sudden I have a lead. So if I can block there, I think I'm going to be in pretty good shape. Maybe even something as simple as NE for like 10. It's a nice fit by Joey there of T with Azote. Yeah, I think I'm going to just play NE. That makes it very tough for him to bingo, and I have a 60-point lead. Now I drew the other blank. So, I mean, I think he kind of has to open. I guess there's still this L in Turtles, but it's pretty hard to bingo there. Almost Snelling for me, but not quite. I could probably just play Nil there next turn. And Okay, well now I'll just bingo 
through that G. I don't really want to play leanings and open the whole top there. I have maybe flensing, lendings, eanlings. Yeah, all of those give back a lot. I think flensing is the safest. It's a little bit tricky for him to overlap. So let's do that. It's definitely a point sacrifice, but I just don't I don't want him to get a hundred point bingo. So I think that's worth it. Yeah, maybe Snelling would have been fine too. Yeah, okay. So he's gonna throw in the towel with twelve, it looks like. And I guess I will play this. I don't think it really matters too much. As long as I don't flag, I should be good. I have Tondo to go out on the top left. I'm not sure I have another out, but that's okay. Yeah, interesting game here to start off. I, I feel like I didn't play the earlier part of that game particularly well, but we'll see. All right, let's just go out. I might have, yeah, that's probably my best end game anyways to go out. Um, but yeah, I feel like I made some, I definitely drew pretty well later on, getting both of the blanks, but I also made some pretty good plays, I think. Let's see. So yeah, Fez looks good to start. Wow, crazy opening rack. He keeps both the J and the X. Interesting. I might have gone with this, but I mean, IKRU is not a great lead either, so I certainly see the merits to, to Kufi, and it works out pretty well for him. He hits Juror for a lot. Yeah, here, oh, I missed, uh... Where is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't really think about playing up there. For, I think I, for some reason I just wasn't thinking about starting with the Y. Yeah, that's probably worth it. I don't know. Fozy, it keeps four vowels. Yeah, tough turn. Probably a little bit of an overreaction. I just didn't see Ye in that spot for some reason. And it looks like he had a crazy fit for TR. We'll get to that in a moment. But yeah, I saw Samba after I hit my clock. Maybe worth it, but I think Mob is fine. ADES is a really good leave. He plays Fov. AE is also fine, but I'm okay with aid opening up a little more. But it does give him an E for Twangers. And let's see. Yeah, Kot looks good. And where is Tiara? Whoa! Oh, so it's not a bingo. But still pretty cool dump for 39. I don't even want to call it a dump because it's 39 points. But yeah, look at this. Making a bunch of twos and threes, including the new three of Aero for 39 through all that. And then, yeah, at this point, Papyrus. Oh, Egyptian as well. Is there? Um, that's funny because Papyrus is known, or it's most famous from uh, like scrolls and stuff from Egyptian and uh, Egyptian mythology and similar kind of things. So it's funny that Papyrine and Egyptian were the two best bingos there. But okay, yeah, this looks uh, pretty clean at the end. Ooh, Conjurer, I missed. Okay, but let's uh, let's move on to game number two. So I have a 1-0 lead, but we will see if that lasts or if it's short-lived. This is a good start, though. I have Chains, C-H-A-I-N-E-S, available on my rack. Assuming I have a spot to play it, which I'm fairly likely to, but we'll see what Joey opens with. He's taking a little time here, so could maybe see a shorter play. Okay, he plays Vox, and yeah, does that actually leave me without a bingo? Huh. Chains with an O or a V? I don't think so. Wow, that's annoying. So I think I just got to play high. And nascent now. N-A-S-C-E-N-T. But I don't think that... Oh, it plays with Hin. If nothing else. Not dying to play it there, but I'll certainly play it there over not bingoing, if that's what it comes down to. So we'll see what Joey does. He plays Dunk, so I will definitely now play it with Dunks. It's a lot more points. And not a great draw, but I at least have Vum, so I should be able to rid myself of my undesirable tiles. I can play Vum and Ohm. It scores pretty well. It does set up an O-hook I don't have, which I don't love. Wow, Irate. That is a very aggressive play, setting up Irater as well as plays on the right. I think I'm going to just play Vum anyway. I don't really have anything to do in either spot. So at least if I leave both open, maybe I can hit one. Do I have anything here? Most like Biologies, Globoids. But I don't think I have any sevens. Obligors with an R. Still not a whole lot I can do in either of the spots Joey set up on his last turn. So I'll probably aim to just hook Ovum and play like Biog or something like that. Maybe Gobo, but that gives back a bit more scoring. So probably would play Biog if I'm going to play over there. But we'll see what he does. Okay, Daffier. So he does get a bingo down. So it'll be about an even game after my next play, it looks like. Yeah, I think I'm still good with Biog over here. The difference between ILS and OLS is pretty marginal. So 
That works out pretty well. I draw Iso lead, which will play with id on the right. Uh, well, it plays with dis now. Is that the only spot? I think so. Doesn't play at the bottom. Doesn't play next to Biag with DI not good. So yeah, let's just play it over here. Still a bingo, so we will take it. And not a terrible draw here. Probably no bingo. It's a little too Val heavy, but I have a nice play of Tony in the unlikely event it stays open with five overlaps. Yeah, I had a feeling it wouldn't stay open. So now, basically a tie game. Do I want to play... White, or maybe Towny over here, or Tawny or something. Uh, I can't... Is Towny good like this? I feel like it's not. I can never remember for sure, but I know Tawny is, so I'm going to just play Tawny. The difference between an A and an O is not that big, and I don't want to play something that I'm not sure of and risk losing a turn over it, so I'm going to play Tawny. We'll find out after if Towny is good. Okay, so now, let's see. What do I want to do with this J? Uh, maybe nothing. Yeah, I have a nice scoring play here that also blocks some bingos. I think I like that. Keeps Joel on my rack, which is not terrible. So yeah, let's let's try that. And I draw the blank, which is certainly a welcome sight. But he bingos with re-risen. So maybe... I don't really think I want to play Joe and block. I could play Jeeps and spend the blank. Do I want to do that? Uh... I'm not really sure either. Maybe Goji on the right. Let's do that and then try to bingo on the left on the next turn. I'm not dying to play Jeeps. The lead is not that significant to burn the blank. So let's do this. And yeah, now I should bingo. I mean, I guess... Well, do I have anything now? I maybe have a 9 through the TI. Like almost Tormentil or something. But I don't see it. Prolate. How about through the R? Patroller. That doesn't work. It needs two L's. Uh, pre. Shoot, I'm getting low on time too. Okay, let's uh, let's hustle a little bit. Let's just play Peel for now. Keep the scoring pressure on. And I get the Z. Oh, there's also under Nascent. There's a line too. I didn't even realize that. But now I can play. Zoa, I think. And now, see, now I've caught up, so he needs to be very careful. I've probably missed a bingo at some point here. But I don't know, I'm a little short on vows. This could be a very gnarly endgame on a closed board with neither of us having much time. So we'll see. I don't have a whole lot from this W, I don't think. I might just play Nerds to the Z. We'll see. Okay, well, not there. He has outdate. I need to be careful. Uh, I think if I just play, like... Um, is that going to be enough? I have no idea. Maybe Linter. We'll see if that's enough. I have no idea. Uh, where am I getting... How am I going out with my R? Yeah, I'm, I don't have enough with my R anyway. Dang. Dang. Yeah, and I was just desperately looking for a big outplay with my R. I don't think I, I could swear enough. I'm sure I screwed that up at the end. Did I miss a bingo? We'll, we'll get to that. It was a good game, though. Early, whoops, uh, early on. Yeah, I raid to aggressive play, but he's down. And he does have the R hook, so it makes a lot of sense. It definitely caused me some problems, because I just couldn't really do anything on either of these turns. Yeah, Gobo is a little better on equity, but I didn't want to put that O next to the double word there. Isolate, only bingo, and then, yeah, Tawny. Okay, good. Tawny is not good. I was correct about that, so that was a good play. And then, yeah, at some point here, this is where I started not knowing what to do. I think maybe I should just take Jeeps. I think Goji's fine. And did I miss something here? Oh, Portlier. Shoot. Okay, yeah, I missed Portlier. Um, you could make an argument for not bingoing here, but I think it's probably worth it. I mean, I don't actually take that big a lead, but on this board, there aren't enough places to bingo, as we saw, so I probably should just take it immediately. And then, yeah, here, I just, I don't think I had a win. I mean, Lintel, I don't think RR is going out. He can probably just play, like, outed or touted and outrun me with that. I don't know. I don't think I can win here. But anyway, good game. We'll play to Joey. Let's move on to game number three. And hopefully I can get a better result. Uh, no bingos here, I don't think. So let's just play, just play opt, I think, and play short. It seems better than... 
playing along with something like point. I guess thionate is available now through this O. If it stays open, it does not, unfortunately. So I will play looking to get rid of HTI or HTA, probably. Maybe hat over here seems reasonable for 22. Teenier, that plays next to Pete with Tate. It stays open, but we will see. He's going to play there a decent amount of the time, I would imagine, with an overlap. So, yeah, I figured that would happen. And, yeah, Tate takes an R, but not a T, of course. So, all right, what do I want to do now? Uh, I think I'm going to be aggressive and just play Fee, because my leave is pretty strong. And unfortunately, I draw another I and another R, which is not at all what I was hoping for here. But maybe he'll... Give me a tile I need for an 8, like an O for interior or something like that. We'll see. Or maybe even an F for ferritin, perhaps. There's a number of 8s, and he plays recaining. Well, that's another tile I could use, a G for retiring. So that'll work a couple of ing bingos we trade there, and ends up with basically a tie game, although he is up a tempo. Probably going to play Bowman to this end. Scores pretty well. I'm not going to play Bowman anymore. I guess wow over here is my backup option. It's not a great leaf, but at least I shed both of my W's and score 30 points. So it looks decent, and I draw more A's. Not really what I was hoping for, but I'll probably play Aboma on my next turn, or maybe Obaya, perhaps. Yeah, Obaya actually plays over here. That's not bad. 20 points, and he's got, looks like, some clunky stuff. I'm going to just shed everything here with Amboina, pretty much, just keeping an A. I do get an S, which is good, but I also get the Q, which is not so good. So I'll probably want to play... I guess I have this U to work with, so I can play, like, low quad or quad. Probably quad, Q-U-O-D, since last is a pretty strong bingo lead, especially with all those E's left. And he bingos with ordinals. I don't think that changes too much for me. It doesn't really give me any better options with my Q. So let's just stick to quad. And all right, that'll work. I've got ligates and gelatis and eyelets. Ligates plays on the right with re and fees. I'm not sure if anything else actually plays. Latigos and Otelgies through the O don't fit. Uh, oh, Eiglets and Speen. I forgot about Speen. That's a sneaky hook there. So I can do that too. Which one do I want to do? Eiglets and Speen or Legates on the right? Probably, I don't know. I just feel like Legates, he's going to overlap probably for a lot in most cases. But Eiglitz puts the A there with two blanks, which is pretty scary. So I think I'm going to play Legates. Seems a little bit better. But we'll see. It's basically an even game. Yeah, because I'll just play Yom or Yep or something if it stays open on the right. If it doesn't, then what do I have? Anything through this D in Ordinals, maybe? Not really sure. Could also play through the Ellen Ordinals with something like Polly or Moly. That's a decent amount of points. I have an employ on my rack, but I don't think that's going to really play for any significant amount of points. Wow, Davy for 11. Interesting. Not really what I expected. I think Yom has to be right. It's 46. And I get a blank. Okay, Lakeport doesn't fit. Sparklet, nope. Okay, let's see. What is he going to do next? I mean, do I have stuff on the top right? Plat? It's not great. I have the last A, which is good. He's down to about 30 seconds, too. There is another blank left. Wow. Uh. Uh, oh, I have Placket. Doesn't play. Uh, is there anything else with this? I have a little time. Let me think for a second here. I don't... Things. Oh, pep talk. Wow. That would be cool. It doesn't quite fit. The only tile I have that goes in front of us is the P. That's the problem. It's hard to have a P that late. So I think just pack is the play. And, oh, I got the other blank. Goodness. Okay. Well, now I should win this pretty easily, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, I can. I don't really want to bingo with Spin. I'll probably just play like Electron. Oh gosh. Um, I mean, Elective Clevi. I think Elective should outrun anything. I have to be a little careful with Seven in the back because I do empty it. Coverlet. Do I not have a triple triple here? I just want to make sure Chevrolet. Close. Surveilla. Close. Huh. Feels like I 
should. All right, I don't see it. So I guess elective it is. That should outrun him, I think. Yeah, because he needs to go for like a hundred, which it wouldn't be even if he had something, which he doesn't. I mean, he can score a lot with like suds and electives, but it's not going to be enough. I hope I didn't miss a triple triple. But I figured, yeah, and that's exactly what he does. He plays suds. So I'll play Ryojo over here, I think. Maybe not my best end game. Yeah, I should have played Jedi. I forgot Jedi got added. He plays, oh, he doesn't go out. Okay. Uh, I guess just like Ryle or something. There's probably a better, I guess, Liar on the right here. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I definitely got very lucky at the end there. It seemed like he was just very close to a bingo for a while and couldn't get it to materialize. Yeah, the bot wants me to play long here, but I definitely prefer playing short. EINT is a very strong leave. And then, yeah, here, I guess I could blow up the rack. Yeah, I'm not really dying to do that, though. It's so strong. And, oh, it looks like he could have played Retaining over here for a couple more with Tater. But either, yeah, either way, though, I would have still bingoed with Retiring. And otherwise, looks like a bunch of top equity plays for both of us. Yeah, I guess I could do Eboma, but I don't want to give back that big scoring spot on the bottom. So Amboina looks good. It does give him a floating A. Quad looks good. And yeah, clunky draw for him here. The leave after Zoa is pretty hard to stomach. D-S-S-U-V. Yes, so that's a word that doesn't come up very often in Scrabble. Maybe best for him? I don't know. Yeah, I thought about Iglitz, like I said, but didn't really want to do it. And then, let's see, he plays, wow, yeah, Davy. That's, that's a strange-looking play. Maybe Dooley over here? I don't know. His rack is really, really bad. Wow, retiringly, that's pretty cool. And then, okay, no bingos here. Pack looks fine. Yeah, elective was pretty much it. All right, it looks like I played pretty well that game. I yeah, missed Jedi, but that's okay. So, all right, good win for us, 2-1. Let's see what we can do in game number four. And, all right, I draw Refract Crafter, so hopefully one of those will play. But we'll see. Sometimes it can be tough to play bingos with a C, because you can't overlap a C with a two-letter word. So it's going to depend on what he does. And, yeah, he takes some time on his opening play again. All right, he plays Mib. Uh, well, I have Craftier, I guess, if nothing else. Because I don't think Crafter or Refract actually play, so I'm fortunate he gave me an I. And, all right, not a great draw here. Almost Kiviet. If I get a Q, actually, I could play Kiviet. That would be pretty cool. Otherwise, this is not great. Probably got to play, like, Kiva to at least shed the K at the V. He plays Cheesy. Yeah, Kiva's still looking reasonable. Maybe Virtue? Nah, I don't want to do this and give back that E hook in the triple line. Oh, Koofy looks good, though. Yeah, let's do that. That's probably... Pretty decent. All right, that's a good draw. Votaries, Viators, Trevois. None of those fit, unfortunately, through the S. Nothing through the R. Swordman, nice play. Anagram for Sandworm, I believe. And hold on. Over... Oh, man! Overtrain almost works. Oh, I need the A and the I on that same spot. That's aggravating, but... Oh, well. Um, all right, I think I just play Move. It scores 27. And, wow, I pulled J, Z, S. Interesting. Not down all that much. Yeah, it's always like more frustrating when you see the nine and it misses by one spot. Wow, another bingo for Joey there, Devour. I mean, you don't see it at all. It's the one drawback with seeing nines because they, they rarely play. But, um, okay, so I'm down 100 now. It's a lot. And what do I want to do? Like Jin or something? I can't really get rid of both the J and the Z. I think I got to get rid of one of them. I don't see any huge scoring plays if I'm not missing it. See, so probably just Jin. The Z is a lot better. So let's do that, and maybe I can draw, like, Satirize or something. Oh, two ends? That's definitely not good. I guess at least I can play Zin through the I and Jin and score pretty well and keep Rance, which is a good leave as long as I can get a vowel. So still, as long as that stays open, which it does, I'm going to definitely play that. Not in terrible shape. All right, I should bingo here. I've got Bryzant and Barniest Bannister. Hopefully Bryzant with Zin stays open, because that'll score a lot more than either 8 through the E. And I guess, well, no, it still plays okay. Bannister and Barniest both still fit. I'm down a lot, though. Yeah, Ganoff was 40 points. I don't think it really matters which one I play. I'll just play Barniest. And, okay. Uh, Dilator? Tailored Idolator? Oh, wow, this does fit, thankfully. Yeah, if this didn't uh, go down, then that was going to be 
rough. But wow, I actually take the lead with this play. That's some uh, tough luck for Joey there. It's good luck for me. But, I mean, a lot can still happen. Yeah, this is actually still not looking great because there's two blanks and two S's left. And I just opened the big spot. And unless I get an N for Luti Yolen, which I probably won't, this is not a very good rack. Okay, he just plays Liege. Fortunately, that was not an N. Um, all right, I've got a little time here. I, I definitely want to play a lot of tiles. Because there's so much good stuff there. I, I really need to get anything like this, this, huh, told you all or some, something. Wow, not a whole lot of plays here. Ooh, this is D, told you wide, something. Huh, out. Yeah, there's just not a whole lot here. Wow, okay. Uh, I don't even know what to, what to do. New tiles, Teloy? I just can't find anything, guys. I don't know. It's the only thing I see that plays off a bunch of tiles. Now I draw another. This is terrible. Wow. Yeah, I don't think that was a good play. I probably should have just played Ludo. Yeah, now I'm in bad shape. Play Wood. All right, I got a blank. Scopula, Cupulas or something. Opuscule. We'll see. Uh, I don't think I have any nines. I can maybe try to draw something from the queue. But he's also probably got some good tiles. Plays Ego, okay. Um, huh. Well, I'm out of time. Shoot, okay. Let's, uh, I don't even know. Let's, let's play Cop. Maybe I can draw like a nine or something. Huh, probably not. Yeah, probably not. Unless I can maybe, maybe I can hit Fisher like Plimsolls or something through this L-I. T-A. I don't see it. I think I'm going to fish the U for Plimsolls if, if I get a chance to. But I don't really know. Yeah, I probably didn't play that optimally. I unfortunately didn't have... I spent... Teloy was just a terrible play. I should have just played Ludo. I don't... I really just blanked on that one. Yeah, okay. Uh, almost like Postulates or something. Um, all right. Yeah, I don't have anything. Good game. Uh, yeah, I'm down to two tenths of a second, so I'm probably just going to flag. Oh, <laughs> he... Actually, if I had more time, I maybe could have called him out on... <laughs> on in... <laughs> um, but, I mean, I was out of time anyway, so... Um, it doesn't matter. Okay, good game. Let's uh, Let's take a look. And, alright, so, yeah, Craftier. Uh, oh, I didn't see Visit. Yeah, KOU is pretty bad. I think Koofy's fine. Yeah, Swordman Sandworm. Move seems okay. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I think this is a good play. Yeah, it sets up the J. It's fairly likely to get blocked, but there's so much upside that it's probably worth it. I didn't think of that, unfortunately. Yeah, that would have been better. He has Analogy, but it doesn't go down. And then, yeah, here... Forced to bingo for 61. Yeah, somehow I got back in the game. Yeah, this play was just... An, oh, out Vi. That's a great fit. Yeah, that's so hard to see, especially in a one-minute game. Or a uh, three-minute game. Uh, with one minute on my clock, though, roughly. But, yeah, I gotta just play Ludo here. I mean, I I, I got too fixated on uh, on turnover. And, I mean, yeah, I just can't be keeping LU. It's so much worse than Tile. Like, I have to play Ludo. This was a terrible play. This is a play, really, where I lost the game, I think. And then, yeah, here... Um, oh, maybe I should play Oops. And, well, the problem is, I just, I still don't think it's enough. I'm down 18. I'm probably not bingoing. I, I don't think I can win. I think I have to try to, ooh, Tantalate. Wow. Three T's and three A's is a nine. That's crazy. And then, yeah, here, yeah, and he just sees it too. I mean, I've seen it before and studying, but I can't say I would have found it. Yeah, I, I just think I'm lost to it. Probably when I play cop, but so if I had time, yeah, I think if I had time, I can maybe challenge on and off. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. I'm not even sure what, um, but I guess I was going for like, yeah, Quillos or something. Um, I'm not even sure, <laughs> but yeah, I guess Quillos I could have, I could have drawn. But in any case, good game. Uh, not too unhappy with how I played. But just wasn't quite meant to be at the end. 2-2 two, two as we go into game 5. And what do I want to do with this? Huh. Do I want to keep the X? 
Could you just play like X I? This is kind of a tricky opening rack. I think I'd rather keep the X and play Hyrie. But I don't know. That was definitely questionable. The problem is I couldn't I couldn't get rid of both uh, the X and the Y. And Joey notes we now have the same Woogles ratings. We're both rated 1919, which is quite a lot lower than both of our real life tournament ratings, which are both in the I believe low to mid 2000s right now. I think I'm a small amount, like maybe 10 or 20 points higher rated than Joey, but not by a lot, that's for sure. Um, okay, so what am I going to do here? Racks? That's not great. I wonder if I can set up my X. Oh, how about, what if I play like, no, that doesn't work. I was about to play RA. That's definitely not a good idea. Um, all right, let's just play racks. I don't know. I don't want to spend too much more time. Digitate with a T, ideating with an N, Digorati, unfortunately I blocked with an R. Any of NRT, give me a bingo. Uh, ideating, okay, I will take that. And I draw uh, almost regicide, but not quite. And probably just going to try to play something to this E, or maybe guide through the D, just to at least block big play, say with ZE there, which could be very costly for him if he gets it but we'll see what he does yeah guide looks reasonable even juice from the j isn't terrible though i'd rather get rid of the g if i can anything to the i don't think i have anything to the e my rack is just too val heavy to really do much there so all right he plays nazi for 27. maybe curie and it keeps gee -E. that's pretty bad Reggie is not much better. I do still feel like I should block that spot. Huh. Yeah, there's just not a whole lot to do there. Can't really hook add. I need to make a move. I'm spending way too much time. Let's just play juice. Open the right. Oh, no. That's pretty bad. All right, I'm just going to play girl. For 29, keeping two E's. That was uh, that was quite a sequence of events there. Val heavy rack to or complaining about Val's to playing girl. But sometimes these kind of things happen. Um, all right, so yeah, here this is actually not too bad. If I get a D, I have head note. About an even game. Probably try to just play ho somewhere to clean up this rack if I can. We'll see what he does. Windle, okay. Probably going to just take the points with this for 31. Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't see anything great. Also, Anathol with an L, but not available. And a similar looking rack. Note case, acetones, neither of those fit, unfortunately. So, no bingos play right now. Maybe he'll open something, but probably... Not. We'll see. Uh, no. Okay. Maybe just ETH now? I guess. I could also score play Noose. It's 34. That's actually probably worth it. Yeah, let's do that. It's a lot of points. Ah, not a good draw, though. Five vowels. From does not take anything. Okay, he plays Hanks. Oh, I have a nice play here, though. I have goatee with a bunch of overlaps, and I draw well. I draw the blank, so barites betrays. That'll play next to reb, if nothing else. But we'll see what he does. Maybe he'll open something a little bit better. Yeah, probably barites right there. It gives back a lot of counterplay, but it's still a bingo. So I will take it if I don't have another option. I don't really... Oh, there's also Baritas, I think is good. B-A-R-Y-T-A-S. And that might stop me. Yeah, I don't think I have anything that plays there now. Okay. So, I guess... Huh, maybe stay? It's 41. Let's do that. And, I mean, if neither of us bingo, I should be able to outrun him, I think. And it's going to be tough to... Bingo with this pool, I would imagine. Like I'm just not really inclined to open this. I mean, I just don't see a good reason to. Let's just play throw. 
And I do get the Q. I was a little worried about it, but I can just dump it with QI if I have to. I guess he could bingo under Danciest or from the U. It's pretty tough to bingo from a U. I'm just going to dump the Q while I can. And all right, well, now actually the, with the H, I forget how good the H was, because now I can bingo under the ST with Hireable, basically ending the game on the spot if that stays open. But we'll see. Yeah, let's just do that. And yeah, even if he bingo, he probably can bingo out with that, but I'm not even sure where, honestly. Let me just make sure I don't flag. Uh, I guess I can just go out with pup. Um, all right, that's not a word. I'll challenge it off. Might as well have time. Uh, oh, I guess he meant to play like steroid, but it, it still wouldn't have even worked because SH doesn't take an S. Uh, I don't think he had any playable bingos. Yeah, weird opening rack. I think Irie is probably fine. Yeah, I didn't want to play Rax and give him the E and the double double lines. Almost always better to not do that if you can help it. Let's see here. Yeah, Juice seems fine. Yeah, we'll see we're both playing pretty well. Ooh, regrade. Tricky to see for 24. Girl is not terrible, though. It blocks the Juice hook, so I don't think I, I mind it too much. And then, yeah, let's see. Still, so far, it looks like we're both playing pretty well. Sign is a cool fit here for 36, but Noose looks better to get rid of the extra vowel. Uh, yeah, he might want to play Ink here, probably, to save the S. A little bit of a tricky word to see. Uh, no, that's not better. That's just... Google's leave evaluator overvaluing vowels. Okay, no bingos here. And then, let's see. Oh, did he miss uh, a Westrum? Let's see. Ooh, he had a Westrum over here. It would have... He probably would have won. Because I had the Q. It would have been... I mean, I wouldn't have had time to solve the endgame. Yeah, he. I, I think he would have won because I had the Q. Yeah, lucky... Uh, yeah, lucky break for me, for sure. I think I... I mean, yeah, I think I was lost probably because I had the cue if he did find that. So, yeah, maybe I should have... Oh, I missed Kibla? Ah, okay, well, I don't think I want to do that anyway. But I, I missed QI there for 22, which is obviously better. Yeah, I just didn't see that spot. Getting a little low on time and then bailed out there at the end. Okay, so uh, a little bit of a sloppy game there from both of us, it seems, at the end. But fortunate to get away with a win. And another good draw here for me, Dietary. But he's going to bingo too. Waterly, um, Cyberite, a lot of options here. I'll take, I guess I'll take Cyberite. I don't know. I don't think it matters all that much. And this is pretty good too. Hexane maybe. I have two spots for Hex for like over 40 points. So that's not bad. I can play it above Warizen or next to Cyberite. Probably a little better next to Cyberite, but it doesn't really matter actually. I don't think both of them block a bit. He bingos again with Pedestal. So he'll probably take a little bit of a lead, but I'm still going to score pretty well. It's 45. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a really bad draw. You don't want three ends and two O's and all one pointers on a board like this. But I can at least, hopefully if it stays open, overlap next to Pedestal and get some points with, like, Nona. That will be at least, like, 20 or so. 22, and it cleans up my rack. So hopefully I can at least do that. If not... Then I don't even know what I'm gonna do because this is this is ugly. All right, he plays Azine. Uh, I guess I could also play Nona here, but that just seems worse defensively. So let's play it over here. Actually, I'm gonna play none and keep the A for overlapping the Zai. I think that makes more sense. Oh, sheesh! This is not looking any better. And now, I mean, I guess Envoy. That's probably barely worth it. Yeah, I'm really struggling to balance my rack here. Man, yeah, it's AA. Oh, that's terrible. I don't want to trade, though. It's still like 24 points. Uh, Toyo, that's pretty bad. Wayne is pretty bad. Everything is pretty bad. Huh. All right, I'll just play Envoy. I mean, it's probably a mistake, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this is that's why this is such a mistake, I think, but... It's like, what am I, what am I gonna do? Trade when I can score 24? It just didn't, didn't quite feel necessary. The pool is getting a little short on fouls, especially after that play. So maybe if I can play Iota, I might, I think I'm actually gonna do it instead of trading. I mean, I probably shouldn't, but I just, I don't know. I don't really want to trade right now, given how much I'm down. So hopefully I get bailed out here. Well, I get consonants, but I do get the Q along with it, which is, of course, not great. But I have cots above iota, which would be really helpful to get down. 
Yeah, my next best play is worse by miles after that. So hoping that stays open. What am I down? 43. So a bit, but definitely... Ah, dang it. I guess I have to play cots and pedestals now. Burn my S. I think that's forced. And yet now I'm getting all the clunky consonants. And it happens sometimes. Like, you get all the vowels and you get rid of them, and then you can't get away from the consonants. I mean, it's natural, because once you get so many vowels, the pool becomes vowel-scarce, and you're just naturally going to end up getting a lot of consonants. But, all right, I'm not down a ton. I'm only down, like, 20-ish. So we'll see what he does. I'll probably try to just play Jot and get rid of my J. The J is not really helping me. I don't have much from the F. That's a kind of ominous play. He's probably pretty close to bingling after that. I can't really do all that much about it, though. I guess maybe Hota just to score a few more seems fine. All right, I've got Refected through this E. So hopefully that stays open. I don't think I have any 9 through the ER. All right, so yeah, I will... Do that. I don't think prefected is good. I think it's just perfected. I'm pretty sure prefect is just a noun. I wonder, yeah, I guess, me, and well, if I play to the right, then he gets a bunch of lines for eights. There is still this line next to azing open for sevens, though, so it might have been something to be said for trying to play towards the right to block that. But I'll play hub next turn if that is still open, probably. We'll see. I expect he's probably pretty close to a bingo. He's down to 30 seconds. I do have a time advantage, which is always good. The pool is pretty good. Okay, he plays livery. Yeah, let's play hub and start blocking a little bit. But there's still a lot of places to bingo. There's envoys, aga hooks. All right, he plays rhymiest. He probably, huh, I'm surprised he didn't bingo with envoys, but okay. Uh, I think I'm going to just play tabuli, probably. Empties the bag, which isn't great, though. Uh... Hmm. I have time. Let's think for a second. How about Jowl? Setting up Jowl. He might have a decent play on top, but he might not. And if he does, he empties the bag. I'm worried about this I in Rhymiest with all those consonants, but I can't really do much there. That's the problem. I have to kind of leave it open. So I think it's either Tabuli or Jowl. I'd probably... Jowl is definitely better for in-game timing, and I set up my L. So I think Jowl is the play. Let's do that. Yeah, because now, like, if he plays through the I... See, this is the good thing. If he plays through the I, then I can play, like, glib and then probably go out. If he plays above... Okay, he plays above... Um, hmm. I have to play through this I, I think. But I don't know with what. Maybe something saving ums? Uh, yeah, I just don't have a whole lot there. Shoot. Yeah, I don't even know. Um... Me, yeah, I just don't even have anything. All right, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I couldn't really come up with it. I mean, he's just going to play, uh, yeah, I guess bulk, it wasn't enough. Yeah, I, I don't think I could have a win there. I mean, yeah, I just, my rack was not flexible enough. Oh, Bima. I didn't see Bima saving Igloo. Would that have won? Shoot, yeah, maybe Bima would have won. Because, I mean, so I go up. I don't know if it outruns Kindar, though. It would have been close. So I would have gone up 9. Kindar is 32, keeping KN for 12. So 20. Yeah, I would have won with Kindar. But he, the problem, though, is then, he, I mean, he probably wouldn't have found it under time pressure. But he can play, like, Nark with Uns, blocking my out. And I think win, because I don't think I have another spot for Igloo. So, like, in theory, I think Bemis still loses in practice. Given his time pressure, it probably wins. Yeah, if he plays Narc, he should win, because he's got two good outplays with Din. Yeah, okay. And then Album here, uh, that should lose to Kind, I would imagine. Yeah, that should lose to Kind easily. So I think if he plays optimally, I can't win, because yeah, Bima, like I said, if he just plays between Hub and Rhymiest, he should block my outs, if I'm not mistaken. Not positive about that, but I don't see another place to go out with Igloo. So, all right, let's just do a quick run through of the rest of the game. Yeah, Waterly is one more point, but I think Cyberate is fine. Oh, crud. Wow, I didn't even look for bingos there. Yeah, I just uh, completely missed Xanthine. Sheesh. 
Yeah, I just didn't didn't even come close to seeing it. Now here I missed No Name. Wow, I didn't yeah I didn't realize how badly I played this game. Jeez, and now Raya. Yeah, wow, a bunch of misses here. Goodness. And Raya again is better just to get rid of another A. Yeah, I played terribly this game. Wow. Yeah. I had no idea. I was blissfully unaware of how, how badly I was playing. Yeah, Joey almost certainly should have played over here, I think, because there's no E's left to overlap the R, so... Yeah, I mean, we both... He's right, we both played a little bit sloppy, but I definitely played sloppier, so I can't... Can't claim that I didn't deserve to lose that one. Alright, three all. Let's see if we can play a little bit better the next game and stop... Or at least for me, stop missing bingos. Uh, I will play dinghy. That's a lot of points. And I pull three O's, so I'll probably just try to play like Foo or Oo for maybe Hoof through the H, depending on what stays open. But we'll see. Yeah, I think as of right now, Hoof is probably my best bet. Plays Wu. Does that really change anything for me? I don't think so. Yeah, I think I'm going to still play Hoof. I need an I for Abattoir. If not, I'll probably just try to play Attaboy to clear out this rack. Hopefully he didn't have a J. I doubt he... He wouldn't have had a J with Wu. He would have played Jog almost certainly. So it didn't feel too risky. He plays Flapping. Fortunately, the I is not in the right spot for me. Almost Boat Port. Uh, Abaft, maybe? It seems fine. I could also take out the spot above both, but Abaft seems better. Ah, the Q is back. Okay. I'll play QI with the A in a baft if that stays open, which it does. He's got consonants, it looks like, with growl. And, oh, I'm actually in the lead here. I guess because Dingy scored a lot. He's still got consonants, it looks like. Okay. So, I don't have a bingo here, I don't think. I'm not mistaken. I'd love to just play off, like, okay, but I can't really do that for any decent number of points. There's also just not a ton of places to bingo. Maybe I'll play from this W something there? I don't even know. Huh. Or I guess I, maybe this, actually. That seems reasonable. Yeah, let's play that for 19. I get another N, which is not great. At least I didn't really open anything for, for him, though. Yeah, now I might have to just blow up the rack. We'll see. Could play maybe to this Y. Could also play next to Wu, perhaps, if I want to just blow up the rack more. Not even sure with what, though. Like, Prone is not particularly good. He plays Studly. Okay. Yeah, I think I probably will just play something there, though, because I don't have any other options. Is Prone really best? Do I have nothing ending in, like, ER or ON or something? Maybe, maybe not. Opponent doesn't fit. Wow, it feels like that can't be best, but I don't see anything. Yeah, and that, that's the problem with blowing up your rack. Sometimes you're going to draw stuff like this. Yeah, it seems like we're both just... Wow, 27 vowels, 21 consonants already? That's crazy. Yeah, the pool is incredibly vowel-heavy already. Wow. Yeah, because we're both just drawing so many consonants. I mean, look at all these words with, like, one vowel in them. Dingy, studly, czars, growl. Sheesh, okay. I think jut? I mean, what else is there, really? I don't even know. I could play from the C. I think I'd rather get rid of the J. All right, I guess like, at least I get one vowel. But I definitely could use some more scoring tiles. Maybe just in next to the EW? It's such a weird game. I really need an S, too, with hoofs. Yeah, I think I should maybe trade here and just try to go all in on getting an S. Because I can't really score. Or maybe went. Yeah, there's so many E's left. I think went is fine. I need the, I need the points. All right, I got an S at least. There's still just so many vowels. 22 vowels, 14 consonants? That's insane. Yeah, where are all those E's? Plays Dex. Uh, what am I going to do? I want to get rid of L-O-N. 
Oh, maybe just... How about in an index? It scores pretty well. It stops Dexy, too. Man, I just... These E's are just nowhere. Nine E's still left. Wow. All right, he finally bingos with overbeat. I think I have to play something here and score. I'm down so much. All right, there are some E's, but I don't think I have a bingo. Yeah, it's been such a weird game. And there are the vowels, okay. There we go. Probably unlet. No, I think I need to do this. I'd love to put something other than a U there so I can actually bingo to it, though. But I need to keep something a little bit stronger. Orpiment doesn't fit. Yeah, Outpreen didn't fit before. Yeah, this is such a strange game it's been. I mean, I can maybe try to, I think, probably just play OM. Yeah, just not not getting it. There's nothing through the eye. He can probably just outrun me if he has a good play on row 15 anyway from his perspective. Yeah, that's exactly what he does. Oh, I guess there's, yeah, re... Oh, I didn't even look at this. Oh, I almost had re-motion or motioner before. Um... All right, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm just gonna burn through tiles. I mean, there's, there's really nothing here for me to do. Yeah, wow, good game. That was, that was such a strange game with all the, all the vowels coming out at the end. Like, let's, let's see here. It felt like it was sloppy, but maybe it wasn't. It was such a, like I said, such a strange game. I think Abaft is fine. Again, kind of ironic that Abaft and Boat are the two top plays because Abaft is a boating or nautical term. He has no vowels. Oh, maybe I should just play weak in here and blow it up. I think Ka is still fine, though. And then, yes, yeah, Studley is a nice find by him. The S is, I mean, the S is useful, but it's so many points. Yeah, not much else to do here other than prone. NT seems better than NR. So, yeah, okay, plays Muko. Yeah, there's just nothing here. Yeah, Chid was a great play by Joey there, scoring really well. I think Went is probably fine. Yeah, I didn't really want to... I don't think I want to do that. I think in is still okay. Just was a little bit too late to the chase here, getting good bingo tiles. Yeah, I don't think I actually played that badly. Just, like I said, such a strange game. And never never quite made it happen at the end. But well played to Joey there. He takes a 4-3 to three lead. So up to four games to go. I need to win three out of the last four to come back in the series. Will I be able to do it? Let's see. That's a very good start. Maestro Omerdas. So we'll see what he opens with, but it's going to be pretty tough for him to stop me from bingoing entirely. And he trades four, so I'll just do that. Vulcan, that's not a word. Vulcans. Unvocal, but that doesn't take an S. So some promising stuff here, but not great. Probably just play Love. Try to bingo again on my next turn if I can. Or, or Voln. Plays Yen. Okay. Um, yeah, probably just love. Doesn't really give anything back. It sets up my other S very nicely. I think that seems like a reasonable play. Okay. Oh, man, I blocked Anna Sarka with four A's. That would have been pretty cool. I don't think I have any sevens here. Yeah, almost caravans. But not quite. Almost like Anacrusis or Anacruses as well. Huh. Cain? There's just nothing there. C-A-A. -A. Yeah, what do I do with this? Huh. Yeah, I have no idea what to actually do here. Arcane? Or just play Arcana and blow up the rack? That doesn't seem right. Huh. Do I just play Ta for three? Doesn't, that doesn't, there's no way that bingo is enough. I have no idea what to do here. This is bizarre. I feel like I've had a lot of these positions. I don't know. I'm just going to... I think I'm going to just blow up the rack. I just can't find anything. It was so strange. But yeah, now I have kind of clunky stuff. That's why I didn't really want to blow up the rack. Just because it gives a lot back. And I leave myself vulnerable to bad draws. Gams, probably. All right, that's a good draw here, at least. Yeah, I feel like I've just had a lot of turns like that one this series. I'm like, I just have no idea what to do. 
Probably missed something, but I don't know. All right, so we'll bingo here with what? That is the question. Uh, oh, Bay is good now, so I can just play Oriides over here. That should be fine. I mean, this takes it back S, but I'm not really... Well, actually, I got it, but I wasn't too worried about it with only one left. But I was certainly fortunate to get it myself. So I can play... I mean, I'm not even feeling any urgency to use it right now with something like Shy. I'd rather try to get more, because there's no S's left. He's probably not going to burn a blank there. And uh, he plays Phi... Or Pied, rather. Uh, so what do I want to do? Yeah, I mean, I could just play Shy, I guess, if I don't have anything better. Yeah, I mean, it's probably fine to do that. It's still like 40 points. Maybe just Hoya. Actually, let's just play Hoya for 18. I can probably get something a lot better there. Like Shreve for over 100. I mean, it stops one before a triple, but it's still a 100-point bingo. I'm going to do it. Well, oh, I'm still going to do it. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow, I almost... Uh, wait, oh, it's not... Wait, wait. What is it? Huh? Is, uh... Oh, is Sis not good with three S's there? Shreve is definitely... Isn't... What... Is Sis not good? I thought Sis was good with three S's. Is Shreve not... Good? I was, like, almost positive it was. Wow. Yeah, I totally thought Sis was good with three S's. Wow, I haven't messed up on a four in a long time, but I guess it is one that doesn't come up very often. <laughs> with th I mean, how often are you going to be playing a 4 with 3 S's? So it's just sass and sus. Wow, sis is not good. Interesting. Yeah, I totally thought it was good. <laughs> Jeez, I haven't messed up on a 4 in a very long time. Happens to the best of us, I guess. But, alright, anyway. Uh, let's just play Want over here. I'm still up, like, 150 points, and I just drew the other blank, so... It's not going to really matter. Co-Annex. I was shocked when that came off the board. I was like, wait, is Shreve not good? That's how sure I was that it just didn't even occur to me that Sis might not be a word. Uh, I guess I'll just play Cox. I don't know. I don't think I have a bingo. Brain Pan, almost. Yeah, I've been playing probably pretty poorly this game, but drawing like an absolute fiend. And now I'll play Brain Pan. And, all right, there's the G-U-U-Z draw, but there's no S's left, so I don't really have anything to worry about. I might get Z stuck, but we'll see. I don't think so, though. I mean, I can play, I guess, Za. Yeah, I just play, well, or Zin, I guess, is probably fine. Um, I don't, he might be, I don't know if he's Q stuck. I guess he can play Q-I. Yeah, I guess, oh, he's not even going to play it? Okay, interesting. Does he have an, I don't think he has a second spot for it, does he? Uh, maybe he does. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I think he's stuck with it now. But I should be able to play off both of my U's, because I've got XU, and then several places for Ut. So yeah, probably a bit of a sloppy endgame there, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean, I just uh, drew really, really well. He's probably going to play off his Q. Oh, he challenged. Okay. He was probably hoping I didn't notice he challenged <laughs> or something. Um... Yeah, so sis is not a word. Yeah, that's so weird. I totally thought it was good. What can I say? Now, let's see what else there was. Okay, love looks fine. Yeah, so what was I supposed to do here? I mean, there's just nothing. Like, I don't want to play my S. Yeah, there's just literally nothing else to do. I mean, this is, this just feels terrible. Yeah, wow, I don't know. I spent like a minute there. Just, it felt like a terrible play. Eh, I don't think I want to do that. Keeping three consonants. Oreides looks fine. Well, especially, I mean, if I, if sis is not a word, then there's really no risk. Yeah, well then, hor I, I saw horsely. If I know sis isn't a word, I definitely would play this. But I was literally saving my S on purpose to, to bingo there. Oh, and I missed Shreve with I, and it looks like too, on my next turn. I think I was just so rattled by sis not being good. I didn't even think to look up there. Wow. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I missed Newton here also, which, I mean, blocking the D has a lot of merit, actually. And I also stopped Tartufo, so it worked out pretty well. Yeah, just uh, sloppy there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, like, I totally thought it was good. <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know what to say. 
But yeah, I mean, like I said, it's probably been well over a year since I've uh, messed up in a four, but it happens. But in any case, I guess I didn't play too badly other than those two turns, if that's any consolation. So, all right, 4-4. Four, four. And now it is a best of three. And all right, going to be just opening with QI, and I still have five vowels, but at least I don't give much back to Joey to work with. Yeah, it's been a, uh, I guess, pretty sloppy series, I would say, overall. He been goes with winners, but... Hard to say who's been sloppier. I guess about equal, at least according to the scoreline. Uh, what do I want to do now? Um, huh, Eerie. I think I should trade. Try to bingo. Yeah, I think I want to trade three here. Oh! I hate that. I trade three vowels and draw three. Three A's out of the bag. That's brutal. Wow. I don't know. It's not looking good, but it's still early. So let's not panic yet. Just try to play A8 probably on my next turn, as sad as that is. And he plays gyring. Okay, that looks a little funny, but it is a word. It's just not something you see on a board very often. I guess I'll play like Aga? I don't even know. This is so sad. <laughs> Jeesh. This is terrible. I can play Yages for 50. I think I'll do that. I'm tired of fishing at this point. Well, now I can't do that anymore, so I guess I will play... I don't want to play Jeans, I don't think. Try to play Aki. Yeah, I guess I'll play here. I'm down so much, I need to be aggressive now. So set up the S. W is not helping. Almost Snow Melt or something. Semi Wild, almost. Yeah, probably going to play Mew and create even another s -hook. Yeah, he, he has the S. So, I guess Mew? I'm just already feeling like I'm in such a bad position here. I don't even know. Let's do this. Systolic with an O. But, I don't think I have any 7s or anything that plays. Lytic. Stylix is not good. Yeah, he blocks with move. I guess just Sly or Sty or something. I don't even know. This is already really, really bad. All right, Haptics. Oh, I have Chapiters as a nine. That's like ninety. Uh, hold on, Haptics and Spadic, right? So yeah, Chapiters looks pretty good. And all right, I draw pretty well here. I've I've readapt now for almost a hundred. If that stays open, dang it! Yeah, I can still bingo, but it's probably going to be too little, too late. Yeah, let's play adapter over here. Book lice, give me an L. That would be pretty helpful, but probably unlikely. Yeah, now he just bombs the X. So this is not looking good. I guess I'll play. Kobo's oh, probably more here, right? Forty three. How much is it on the? On the right, 41. Uh, well, maybe I can fish for something to the K if I do this. So let's let's play over there. I think that's probably a little bit better, but we'll see. And okay, so now, yeah, I mean, the problem is I'm probably still going to need more than one bingo to win, given the size of my deficit. Cozy, I guess. Fado, I don't really have anything there. Yeah, I think I gotta get rid of the Z. I need to bingo as soon as I can. So yeah, let's just play cozy. Fatuities. I need way too many letters. Yeah, I guess I can overlap here and score a decent amount and maybe hope to draw something to like this M. I don't even know. Yeah, now I can't even go there. So this is not looking too promising. Uh yeah, I don't even know here. Fit. Problem is, where am I bingoing on this board? It's very, very hard to see where. Tufa, fit, yeah, I don't know. Out, out of ideas. Yeah, I just don't think I can really win here. He's just got too many points. So I'm going to need to try to win the last two if I want to come back in this series. Uh, I don't think there's a bingo. Even if there were, it wouldn't be 
enough. So, all right, yeah, regulate doesn't fit. I'm not sure if he can go out. I'll just play ought. Uh, ruin, I don't think he can go out now, as far as I can tell. But of course, it doesn't uh, doesn't really matter all that much. So, all right, yeah, good game. I uh, the key was when he played deep bones because if he didn't play re deep bones and I got down readapt, I would have had some chances. Those opening draws just really, really hurt me. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really want to blow up the rack here. I think trading is still fine. And yeah, this was just brutal. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, maybe I should take a sigh. I probably would have if I saw it. But I, I think I was just honestly a little bit upset from drawing. Three A's on a trade three that I, I decided I kind of had to fish. I don't know. Yeah, he just kept blocking all my openings. I could do this, but I feel like at this point I really need to bingo. So this worked out pretty well, all things considered, until he played deep bones. Yeah, and then here I think I'm in just a lot of trouble. He's just he's just up too many points. The board is uh, the board is too tight. Zincified? Where did he? When did he have zincified? Hold on. Oh, wow. Oh, I had Zincified through an I-N and a E-D. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, definitely not a great play, but that's uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely not seeing that, especially in a Blitz game. But all right, good game. I uh, can't complain too much about how I played there. I feel like I did pretty well. And I'm going to, like I said, need to win two in a row here as Joey is up 5-4 in the best of 11. And probably going to try to play Amigo or Imigo, is my guess, depending on what he does. And all right, he plays O, signaling some vowels. So yeah, Imigo looks fine over here, I think. 17 points. And not quite, I don't think. Solution with an L, if I can get one. Probably not, though. I'm going to try to just get rid of an O and a U and maybe one or two other tiles, if that helps. But we'll see what he plays on his next turn. And he plays Coffer. That doesn't quite help me. I could just play Hour for three. I mean, IONST is not a bad leave. I think Auto has to be better, though. Yeah, that's a lot more points. Let's do that. And still, I need an eight, or a letter for an eight. Rainbows with an R. No sevens. So probably just try to play, like, Wab over here. Assuming I don't get an 8. Because I have a bunch of good tiles in my rack. I really need like a E or something. Though. That would be very helpful. Or an R or a T. But we'll see. Almost stuff to the TE too. Like almost Dawsonite. If I had a D instead of a B, that would be pretty cool. It's a fun 9. Wow, Entrench with both blanks. Interesting. But he doesn't score all that much. So that's not the worst... Thing that could have happened. Um, all right, I think I don't have much to that T. I think I'm just going to stick to Wab, open another S hook. All right, I've ionized iodines, so I should hopefully be able to get one of those down with Wabs or also with autos. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll get it down somewhere because I also have it with AIS or AID. But yeah, definitely worth it to play ionized and Wabs. It's just a lot more points than my other options. So yeah, it's, I think that's got to be worth it. Wow, I feel like I, I don't know, I might be wrong, but I feel like I've drawn the queue in, like, so many games this match. It's like another rack that's pretty close to being good, but just foiled by the queue. Alright, I'm just going to slap it down right here. And now I draw the other V. Wow. Oh, well. Uh, I guess I'll just play Vide. Keep VDNT. Maybe Vivid if that gets blocked. I don't even know. Wow, I can't believe I drew the other V. That's brutal. But what are you going to do? Yeah, I think I gotta play Vivid now. I mean, I have to get rid of some of this. Keeps ENT, which is a good leave. And, sheesh, Dentel with a D, but probably not gonna get it. Telnet, I guess, to this T. Yeah, I'm just going from like between different kinds of bad racks here, it feels like, but I'm not down much. Alright, that looks better. So Holstein Hotline, Hotline's Neoliths through the T, if the T stays open. Definitely needed a good draw there. And even if that's blocked, I don't think I have a bingo. Uh, let's see, Hotline's Neoliths, Holstein, I think I have to bingo on top. 
I guess Holstein gets the H on the double at least. And alright, um, well it's still a close game. The F is a good tile for sure for under Holstein. Also, I guess there's no pre piece for pre-tape, so we don't have to watch that. I have a time advantage, which is good too. He plays Lacey. Uh, Funk, I don't want to do. I could just play like, oh, Furion. That's a lot of points. Let's do that. Takes an E. Hopefully he doesn't have the E. If he doesn't, then I'm going to play Zek for like 50 plus. Well, maybe, or I might try to block on the left. We'll see. We'll see, because he's, there is, I mean, there's some good bingo tiles. All right, well, now I'm not that worried about him bingoing through the E. I guess he still could, though. Like, Radway, so I probably should block. Like, if, I mean, if I just play, like, G's, and I have the O, I don't think he can win if he doesn't bingo, and it's pretty hard for him to bingo, right? I mean, he's he's not going to outscore me by that many points. I, Vivid doesn't take an S. Yeah, this this should do it. Okay, I mean, oh, I guess there was, oh, you know, there was, um, it was the hook to AI, I didn't even realize that, so maybe I should have played Joke, yeah, I mean, there probably wasn't, there were not a lot of sevens in that pool, but there were probably some, so that was probably not great by me, but at least it'll be enough, yeah, Kilo should just outrun, um, but yeah, I feel like blocking the E had to be right at that score, and, all right, yeah, few. Tense game there that I win. So we're going to be going to a game 11, but before we do that, let's take a look at this one. Yeah, Imigo I think is fine. I'm not dying to do this and expose the O next to the triple letter. Auto looks good. Yeah, lot, tons of bingos here, obviously, for Joey. And then let's see here. Uh, ionized. Yeah, I think that's fine. Dropping O. Oh. oh, yeah, I probably should have just done this. I think I was a bit peeved. I, I probably let myself get on tilt too much this uh, this match. I think I was just a bit peeved by drawing the Q again that I was just like, figured I'd slam it down here. Yeah, I probably should have played QI. I mean, it gets rid of the I, which isn't great, but it is 14 more points, so probably worth it. And then, yeah, probably Vive again here. Just wasn't really thinking of playing under the P for some reason, but Vivid is not terrible because the leave is a bit better. And then, yeah, thankfully I get a good draw here and I get a bingo down. And then, yeah, I think... With this turn, I think I have to block the E. I mean, there's so much, like, rad waste, waftages. I mean, there's grade eights. There's so much stuff through that E. Like, way, there's way more stuff through the E than there is sevens. Like, there aren't, there just aren't that many sevens, honestly, with this pool. Are there even any sevens with that pool? I mean, there's probably, like, some, but honestly, I don't even see any. There's no sevens. Wow. I just checked, guys. There are no sevens in that pool, which is crazy. So actually, G's is fine. Yeah, that probably never loses. Yeah, game 11 time, indeed. So, yeah, let's uh, let's do it. This is one of many matches Joey and I have had that's going to go to a game 11, and we will see who ends up victorious. They've gone both ways before, and close to a bingo here, but not quite. Do I play short, or do I play unrip? Uh, I never know what to do. I think I'm going to play on Rip. No, it takes an E. I don't want to do that. Just play Pud. Change my mind. Yeah, I'll just play Pud. Yeah, this is why I hate playing short sometimes with these racks. Like, I don't know. I feel like if you don't have an E, you often just end up drawing something like, like this that is pretty annoying to deal with. At least I'll just play Yin over here now. And wow, now I draw three E's. Go figure. I don't think I have a bingo. Eeriness, Esserines, doesn't quite work. Diureses, I mean, I have a bunch of eights I can possibly get, but we'll see what he gives me. If not, I'll probably just try to play like C somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should have just played Unrip. I, I was going to, and then I balked when I remembered it takes an E for Unripe in addition to the S. Plays Dog. Okay, so that takes an E. I think I'm just going to play Siri. I like it better than Eerie. ES seems better than SS. Is it though? I don't know. It's close. Actually, maybe keeping both S's would be slightly better. Let's do that. Because now at least I can get rid of one of them without much consequence. 
Like now at least I can try to play like as asdic or acids or something. Um, okay. Maybe just like this. Acidosis doesn't work. There's no O. Uh, huh. I think this is fine. It's kind of a strange looking play. I don't see anything better. Okay. Um, plays race walk. It's a nice play with a blank K. Calf skin. Wow, I must have like kickoffs or something. Uh, Mathics or something. There's got to be something, right? Wow. Yeah, what do I have here? I feel like there's got to be a bingo. But what is it? I'm not seeing it. All right, I got to move. Shoot. Uh, I think I'm going to just do this because this should bingo a lot. Sack like. Okay, it's blocked. Almost like Killix or something. Um, huh. Okay. Uh, I think I need to just bingo now with Kelkins. I need to move on. Fig Eater. Please don't block Fig Eater. I'm so low on time, too. Wow, I just completely panicked the last couple of turns. Just couldn't, uh, couldn't, I was looking for all these low prop things that probably weren't, weren't there. I really hope Fig Eater stays open. I guess if not, I at least have like feet on the bottom as a backup. I don't know. I feel like I've made a disaster out of this last game, but at least I get that down. And now Vral maybe? There's a big spot under Cobia. Uh, let's see, what, how, 51 seconds. I can also play artwork to the blank K. That's actually not bad. Please donate. Yeah, now I'm definitely going to play artwork. Block up the right a little bit. Okay. What am I up? 70. Okay. So if he, if I can stop him from bingoing, I should win. And veto is a lot. So I'm definitely playing veto. I, I need to watch out there though, guys. There's a J and a Z and two E. I, I need to block that. If it, doesn't, uh, if it stays open. Because that's the biggest threat here, probably. There's not a ton of bingo lines. Like, if if I can get Veto down, I feel pretty confident now, because I mean, my rack is not great. Like, if he does bingo on the left, I could have some issues, but I think I should be able to outrun him. I just need to watch the tile count. 11 in the bag. Birth, I guess, above Fig Eater? Well, I just need to not empty the bag. And LV could get me in some trouble, but it's a lot of points. So we'll see. Somehow I'm actually up on time now after all that. Yeah, I think Birth is probably right. Just outruns so much stuff. I think that's got to be it. I mean, I, I think I'll... Even if he bingos, I think I'll have enough to outrun it with this kind of lead. Like, I can just play Tiz. He's only going to have three tiles. I mean, I have a lot of... Yeah, I mean, I, I think... Okay, hold on. I mean, if he plays, like, Top Sail... I mean, I think I can just literally play Tiz and outrun anything there. If I'm not mistaken. Or Jive. Yeah, Tiz is more. I, I just don't think he's going to get enough on his bingo. I really don't, if my math is right. I mean, he has a royalist. It's just not enough, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he caught me with, like, a 40 points on my rack, but it just wasn't going to be enough. Like, I, I don't think, because if we go back here, guys, like, what was what was possible in this pool other than, I mean, I don't think there were any sevens that played, if, if there because Top Sail and Apostle didn't play on the left. Uh, I mean, yeah, Pastily, Silpily didn't fit either. I mean, if he even goes through the R, like, sportily is a couple more, but it's not enough, because then I'm also drawing an A. So yeah, I think Joey was lost, given the actual situation. I'm wondering, and he pointed this out, what if he had played instead of Hode? Maybe something like HO over here going for, like, Hospital? Then maybe 
Maybe he could have had some chances. I don't know. Really complicated position. I have no idea. But let's look at the rest of this game. Because I'm sure I messed up some of those turns. Okay, yeah. Putt is debatable. I guess I could play Jens. I'm not dying to telegraph the S to him. Oh, and he missed Squeg for 78 here. So that's a pretty big swing there that uh, he didn't get that down. Very fortunate on my part. And let's see here. Okay, so yeah, so far so good. Yeah, great find of race walk by him. Blank K. Wow, so there was actually nothing here. No, Fa is fine. And then, yeah, here, what did I miss? Okay, Skaldic. That's tough. I mean, I obviously, I know the word, but yeah, it's tricky to see. And I already spent so much time. Okay, yeah, I saw Sack like I just forgot about Spud. But okay, I missed Skaldic for a few more. And then, yeah, very lucky to get Fig Eater. And then artwork. Yeah, that was a crazy game to end the series. Yeah, wow. And then this hold turn. I mean, it's it's crazy to think he might have chances here. But yeah, he probably needs to hope that... I guess he could also hope I have no vowels here. I don't even know what he should do. It's a crazy position. But yeah, I don't think Tiz can lose from my perspective. Wow, yeah. No, as, as Joey says, uh, what a crazy series. Both of us played far from perfectly, for sure. Definitely some sloppy plays but very very entertaining so i do hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, as always a major thank you to joey for taking the time to play really really appreciate it and this was our 10th series that is going to be on my channel so uh, a lot of a lot of great content joey has given me so really really appreciate it uh, thanks so much to him as always for for playing and thanks so much as always to you guys for for watching and engaging with the content really really appreciate it and uh, yeah until next time guys that's it for this video so Thanks again for making it all the way through it, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.